Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars of my dear friend, Nadia Shah. I am Yuridia Robles, and I welcome you to your horoscope for the month of July 2024. Dear Libra, you have a special challenge this month, since Lilix is just entering your sign. It brings you the need to be independent and tending mainly to yourself. This is the second emphasis of the solar system to push you into a revision of what is to have a committed relationship. The first one is the ongoing transit of the lunar nodes in the axis Aries Libra. The eclipses have been happening here, transforming the conditions mainly of your points of view and those of your partner. So especially in this month, you must recognize what is to be in a partnership without losing yourself in the process. You will receive help from Pluto, at least while it is in Aquarius for the time being, and from Jupiter in Gemini, as well as from Mars when it enters Gemini. As for Lilies, it is the furthest point in the lunar orbit, and it is here that we fear the most losing the attachment, yet at the same time, it gives us a sense of independence and freedom. So it is a matter of embracing who you really are and make the inner connection between feelings and thoughts. This month, Mars is going towards Uranus and it will reach the perfect conjunction from the 12th to the 16th of the month. This is one of the most dynamic duo in the solar system. And we are in for a big surprise the unexpected, and it is a must to pay attention to what we are doing. It is possible that transformative situation will be presented to you. This will open your frame of mind to a new way of thinking. The interesting part now is that both will conjunct the fixed star Algol. This is the most demanding star in the heavens, it has a rich mythology. Algol is the head of Medusa. The story goes that Medusa was a very dedicated maiden at the temple of Athena, and Poseidon fell in love with her, and after having seduced her in the temple, Athena got very mad with the girl and turned her into a horrific sight because her beautiful hair was turned into a maze of snakes. So every person who was caught in her gaze would turn into stone. It was necessary that another hero, Perseus, and with the advice from Athena, cut Medusa's head and use it to conquer his enemies. This was needed in order to save his sweetheart, Andromeda, from peril. So what does this mean for you, Libra, in this month? Well, Medusa was a very innocent maiden and devoted to her duties and would not allow either feelings or reasons to get in her way. But then Poseidon or Neptune comes in and starts temp tempting her to agree to have relationships with him, either willingly or by force. After the punishment, she was enraged and very dangerous to look at. In this part, the myth is suggesting that we must separate our innocence and deep feelings from our reasoning. We should not rationalize what we feel or give explanations, but we must also be aware of them in order not to be tricked by others' desires. This is especially important for you since you tend to give everything for the perfect relationship, Libra, rationalizing whatever happens until you feel so depleted and cold that nothing can grow. After that, if we do not make the effort to reason and be mature with our desires, then we risk losing our head as Medusa did. We are subjected to our rage and in this state, we are very dangerous to ourselves and to others. At this point, we need to recognize what we feel, reason about our feelings, 
but not in the sense of explaining or giving excuses or justifications. The effort goes towards acknowledging that the feelings are real, so we do not have to react blindly. Just the recognition is a mature act. Then we must let the anger or fear subside due to this understanding. And after that, we can do something different, creatively, free from the grip of our own anger. From the blood of Medusa emerged a beautiful being, Pegasus. It was a white horse with big wings that could fly very high. So from this lesson this month, we are guided, hopefully willingly, to integrate our maturity, our feelings and our thoughts. And from there, it has to emerge a beautiful inner state or decision or action that takes us out of our safe space into a higher realm, into a deeper understanding, comprehension, or knowing of who we are. Feeling and thinking wisely to go to a higher form of being and feeling. This is promising to be an ordeal and it has an element of surprise and innovation, but it is also a for situation that we will have to confront. From the individual perspective, the opportunity to make the best of this conjunction is bigger than on the mundane or collective perspective. Therefore, if we believe everything we hear as a matter of fact, without checking them, we are in trouble to distinguish what is truth and what is false. So if you get angry, pause to recognize from where the deep reaction is coming from. From the 12th to the 16th, be on the lookout. Be careful and try to stay conscious and pay attention to whatever you are doing. The new moon is on the 5th of July. This is the time when our feelings are at the strongest. We need to feel safe, secure, and attend, in your case, to your professional and social situations. You are very protective of this, and now you must think about what inspires you the most. You are a natural, elegant, and refined person, but it is a time to make everybody feel secure around you, and it will take a lot of effort from your part. So the new moon emphasizes the need to withhold drama or victimization, to grow and show that we can deal to with whatever situation life is presenting to us. It is in opposition to the series in Capricorn. We must nourish our goals and aspirations as well as our houses. Also, the asteroid palace is establishing also a harmonic dialogue with the full moon, repeating the theme of Medusa asking us to recognize between real needs and valuable goals. The new moon is the culmination of a process, an enormous one that began 14 years ago, in which every time the new or full moon happened in Cancer or Capricorn, you were asked to be mature, to reason, to understand your professional needs and match them to your partner's ideas in a sensible manner. It was a very stressing home environment and for a long time you felt better in your profession or social environment than at home. It will soon be over, but for now let go whatever resentment or anger was left and focus in the professional success that is waiting for you. It is also essential to face how relationships make you feel and you need to reach an agreement to heal. The full moon on the 21st of July is the second one in Capricorn on the last degree. So we are into a months of wrapping up things of the past that helped at the time, but now we should let go in order to be free and ready for a new situation. Neptune is supporting this realization and Mars just entered Gemini at the time is giving us freedom to literally walk the talk. 
this last transit will be specifically benefic for you. In matters of the heart, for those who are established in the bond, Chiron is going forward in your sign, leaving behind a complete understanding of what was hurtful, and hopefully giving in return the wisdom of the experience and coming to terms to what was and is no more. This should give you peace and acceptance to move on, especially for those who are seeking a new relationship, this will come as soon as the last return of Pluto to Capricorn is over. This will be in November. It might feel as a long time, but you have already waited 14 years. What is amazing about this month for you is that help you are receiving from the system to be at peace and equilibrium within yourself. This is called the inner marriage. If you achieve this, you will be in a better position to establish a new relationship in all fronts. It will be a wonderful month. Enjoy.